Hey guys, in all honesty, we're not often talking about blue plants. However, this gorgeous Cebu Blue has stolen my heart. Anyways, is it a pothos? Is it a philodendron? It's epipremnum panatum. Stick around, I'm gonna be sharing all of the important care details and more for this Cebu Blue. So I picked up this plant from a local nursery and despite some confusion or debate online, they sold this plant as a philodendron Cebu Blue epipremnum panatum. Regardless, this vining beauty has hints of blue in its foliage, so no surprise that it has blue in its common name. Many folks would probably pot this up in a hanging basket, which would make perfect sense. However, I've chosen to stake mine up. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. Now, before jumping into crucial care, I did pot this up from its nursery pot into this pot with the stick in a recent vlog, so if you're interested in seeing that or checking that out, I will throw up the link. Keep in mind, using pots with drainage holes is pretty important, especially when it comes to this plant right here. Also, I didn't get to include as much bark in this soil mix as I would have liked to, so when this bark shortage ends, or when I'm finally able to get my hands on some more bark, I will definitely be including some um, in this mix, so I'll have to kind of change up the potting soil. If you are going to be using a container or pot without drainage, be sure to include about an inch and a half or two of horticultural charcoal pro tip. Now you know. What the charcoal will do is create a gap between the plant's roots and the bottom of the container, so any excess water or moisture will be in that area and the roots won't be basically sitting in that excess moisture but best to use a terracotta pot like I have here with a saucer. That way, if you want to bottom water your Cebu Blue, you can if your heart so desires. If you're interested in more content like this, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below to really show me some love. Click the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. All right, with container and aeroid soil mix aside, let's get into those crucial care tips. Let's quickly talk about what conditions this Cebu Blue needs and prefers. In terms of lighting, these plants love medium light or bright and direct light, so you can keep them inset from a south-facing window. One really important point worth mentioning is these plants tend to be a little bit more blue, reveal that blue when they receive less direct sunlight and more bright and direct light. So if you're looking for more blue, now you know. It's exactly the same thing when you're dealing with pink foliage. More bright and direct light will help keep those pinks even more vivid. Oh yeah, and I've also heard that it's important that your Cebu Blue has periods of darkness, but considering here in the Northeast it gets dark around 4 or 5 p.m. now that it's the fall, really need to be considering my own blues. Anyways, you're only going to want to water this plant when the soil has completely dried out and probably even less in the winter season. These plants like to be warm and above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a good idea to keep them away from any cold spots or drafts you may have in your home. Otherwise, the Cebu Blue is pretty rad. Humidity shouldn't be too much of a problem or concern, but you are going to want to think about fertilizing your Cebu. Now, I've included some slow-release pearls um, in the soil mix when I was originally um, mixing that up, so it's already directly in there, and that way you don't need to stress or worry about it too frequently. Great news, these plants also propagate super easily, so you can do that using some cuttings, so 
really no worries there either. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or better yet, hit that subscribe button. I miss you guys already. Until the next one.